I started Facebook, I run it, and I'm responsible for what happens here. Right, what we're trying to do is have enough revenue to sustain ourselves, but we're not trying to optimize for profit. Now, focusing on the newest or one of the newest members of Harvard's class of 2006. Put up pictures of two women and decide which one was the better, more attractive of the two. Is that right? Uh, Congressman, that is uh, an accurate description of the prank website that I made when I was okay. a sophomore. Okay, I just We're really just focused on our mission, just helping people share information. Um, we believe really deeply that if people are sharing more, then the world will be a more open place where people can understand what's going on with the people around them. Is it an alternative to Facebook in the private sector? Uh, yes, Senator. The average American uses eight different apps okay. to communicate with their friends and stay in touch with people, okay. ranging from text. Is Twitter the same as what you do? It overlaps with a portion of what we do. You don't think you have a monopoly? Uh, it certainly doesn't feel like that to me. We didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility, and that was a big mistake. And it was my mistake, and I'm sorry. You announced recently that the official policy of Facebook now allows politicians to pay to spread disinformation. Facebook consistently resolves these conflicts in favor of its own profits. The result has been more division, more harm, more lies, more threats, and more combat. It's not enough to just connect people. We have to make sure that those connections are positive. 